this is? You see what that is? It's a straight up drill bit in my tire, in my trailer tire. How in the world did that get in there? What the heck? Wow. And it wasn't even the sharpest part that went in. It was this. This section went in. So it was sticking up like this, or whatever, got flipped up on my tire and went in the tire. Just punctured right in there. Not this part that's super sharp. Maybe this rest of it broke off as it bent over and shoved in my tire and snapped off. Talk about some weird and unusual occurrences. I'm sure this has happened to plenty of you before. I know I'm not the only one. Feels like you're the only one sometimes in the heat of the moment. But there's thousands of us strong out there going through this every day. Weeks in a row. Come on, man. Third time's the charm. I think it's time to get some new tires. So, what I've learned is the standard tires that come with your trailer are usually the cheapest, right? I mean, that's like with your cars, whatever. I mean, go figure. I mean, that should be explanatory, but I didn't realize I was going to be going through so much. You know, here's the plug. Here's my plug here. I didn't realize I was going to be going through so many issues, going through neighborhoods where, you know, I was going to be new construction and picking up all these nails and rocks and crazy stuff. But um, I'm going to start getting these higher quality tires because I, when I bought a new one last year, I noticed that it was better tread, um, higher rate, you know, it's load range D, which means it goes up to 65 PSI instead of 50 like this one does which came with a trailer so this is um I'm gonna start slowly transitioning my tires you know I don't want to buy all three new tires you know because that's expensive they're like 60 70 bucks a tire or whatever but um you know this way I can just replace it as I need it so I got another one so now I have two new ones so I have two more to replace so I've got this one that I'm putting back on then I've got uh, another one then I've got a spare so um, again as the tires are wearing down tread or get more flats on these cheap tires I'm gonna replace them with these tow stars from my local trailer dealer um, I mean you can get tires anywhere you can get them at you know tire any, any tire place you know that sells truck tires vehicle tires they usually can order they don't already have in stock trailer tires so you can probably find your own um, price ranges for your own type of tires but this is what I've got it's working out so far the bottom line is this isn't uh, a level up from what comes standard with your trailer already. So hopefully I will have better luck not getting flats because this tire that I have brand new on, on my trailer um, th from last year has never gotten a flat. It's all these other tires, almost every single one, I think there's only one left that hasn't gotten a flat. So I'm guessing that this, uh, this is thicker rubber so it's going to be um, higher quality and everything which is why you can put a better load on it because load range D so that's going to help it not you know puncture as easily as well so that's my new solution there I'm going to go with that talk to the trailer dealer of course they agreed with that so but I don't want to invest in doing that right away while I still have decent tires I'll replace them one at a time so the best thing so far that I found about having employees is the leverage that it brings having those employees having the ability to get more things done having more time being able to get things done quicker and more efficiently this tire just an example just a quick example normally this would put me out of commission for however long but one I had to deal with this tire issue last year I got two flats on my new trailer last year the same exact tire got two separate flats had to plug them you know refill it whatever um, but that all took time because I didn't have all the right things to do all that I had the plugs but I mean you know I, I didn't have 
a pump or whatever. I didn't have the jack with me, like all these different things. So over time, those over those two times, I accumulated them, made sure that I have them on me at all times because you just never know, right? Especially now that I'm increasing the workload, I have employees, just more equipment overall, and just trying to be prepared. As things happen, I acquire more tools, more things that I need. So I'd rather have them and not need them than need them and not have them, right? That's a common saying I've heard a lot in a lot of things in life. So I just accumulated these things. So, I mean, last year after the second flat on the same tire, I decided to buy a brand new tire. Cause I'm like, man, this one's got two plugs in it. I mean, I know that's gonna be fine. You know, a trailer tire, whatever, it'll, la it'll last forever with the plugs, that's great. But I'm like, you know, I'm gonna make that one the spare tire and just put the brand new one on there and keep it rolling. So this year, guess what? I got a flat. So literally, as we're driving through a neighborhood with a whole bunch of new construction, all these houses going up, and then bam, we park, I get out, and I just hear tss, like really loud. I'm like, what the heck is that coming from? And immediately I'm like, oh, you gotta be kidding me. I have a flat tire. I was just thinking about, man, I hope I don't get it. I actually said it out loud to my employees, like, man, I hope I don't get a flat tire. Last year I got two going through neighborhoods like this. And now they got all these houses, there's probably stuff everywhere. They're like, oh, you jinxed yourself. Like, man. But because I was prepared and because I had employees, I was able to knock this out in 10 minutes or less. You know, I had the spare that I just filled up with air earlier this week to put in my trailer. It used to be in the garage. It was in my truck at one point, then it was in the garage. And I'm like, you know what, let me fill this up and, and get a hook and put it in my trailer in case I need it. I always have my jack now on my truck. I always have, you know, my impact wrench. So what happened? I got the flat, but I was able to just change it out. And the whole time I was changing this out, the 10 minutes I was changing it out, my guys just got the lawn done. I mean, it wasn't 100% done in 10 minutes, but I mean, they just kept it rolling. So by the time I was done with the tire, all I had to do was help them finish blowing off. We were out. That was it. So like, not only did I get the tire changed super fast because I had, I was prepared. I had all the right equipment and stuff with me, but also... I didn't skip it. We didn't skip a beat with productivity. We still got this lawn done in the same amount of time it would have taken because I had the employees. Had I been by myself, that would have been 10 extra minutes. Best case scenario that it would have taken me to get this changed out by myself. And then I would have to go start mowing the lawn. So I'd be 10 minutes behind. Overall, that's not a big deal, right? 10 minutes, but 10 minutes here and there adds up to a half an hour, an hour extra on your day now you're getting home after dinner or whatever if you have plans now you're scrambling try and get done you know what i'm saying just one thing leads to another so the point is no time was lost i spent 10 minutes getting this get switching this out employees kept getting that getting after it everything was great we were back on the road rolling perfectly fine so now i gotta go plug this tire <sighs> again this one actually, I think, is a diff totally different tire, so that's good. But anyway, I got plugged this tire. Yeah, that would make would make sense, right? Because the spare already had plugs, and I put the spare on as a replacement. Anyway, I'm gonna plug this one for the first time, fill it back up with air, hang it up in the trailer. Catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Peace.